Today's color review is Gray Owl by Benjamin Moore. And as your room decor color expert, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about this beautiful paint color. And I'm going to give you some valuable tips that's going to save you some money. So let's go. Gray Owl is a popular paint color, but there's some topics that I need to share with you before deciding if this is really the right color for your home, because I don't want you to make a mistake that you would later regret. So let's take a closer look at Gray Owl and let's talk about the color. Right here is Gray Owl by Benjamin Moore. And take a look at this picture over here. I want you to get a close up view of what this paint color looks like. Now, I want to show you something, so pay close attention. I'm going to compare this with Coventry Gray by Benjamin Moore, and look what just happened. The blue undertones of Gray Owl just popped out. So, if you're a fan of gray and you're okay with blue undertones, then this paint color may be the right one for your home. However, there is another undertone that I do want to share with you, so be patient. I'm going to talk about this in a minute. A quick tip about this paint color, please don't cut the paint. So many people out there are cutting paint because they want to make the color look lighter. I never recommend this practice to any of my clients for two reasons. Number one, it's going to change the composition and the undertone of this paint color. Number two, there is always an answer to a problem and I guarantee you there is a perfect paint color for your room. There's another thing that you need to know about Gray Owl. It's a chameleon. So let's do a quick recap. About a minute ago, I showed you what happens when you compare it with Coventry Gray by Benjamin Moore. The blue undertones come out of Gray Owl. Now, watch this. I know if I compare this with Gray Cashmere by Benjamin Moore, look what just happened. There's a little bit hint of a green undertone. So with this paint color, it can change dramatically depending on a lot of factors, lighting, the interior decor, your fixed elements, and shadows, to name a few. This is a tricky paint color. A lot of people are surprised on what happens after they paint their home with this color because it's a chameleon. So you really need to know what you're doing before deciding to pursue this paint color in your home. And by the way, if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. I give you valuable information like this video right here. All right, let's go. So I want to show you a few examples that will help you understand how to work with Gray Owl and to see if it's a possibility to paint this color in your room. If you have red cherry wood cabinets like this in your home, when you compare it with Gray Owl, what's going to happen most likely is the blue undertones are going to come out and it's going to make your red cherry wood cabinet pop out. This is not a good color combination. However, let's say you want to paint this in your kitchen and you want to paint your kitchen cabinets. If you have a white backsplash like this and perhaps an off-white countertop, well, this paint color does a great job of working with true whites and off-whites. So let's say that you want to paint this in your living room. Well, let's say that you have a bunch of cool undertones with your interior decor and fixed elements, such as this gray dark fabric right here. When we compare it with Gray Owl, they work well. So the point is, is to compare Gray Owl with both your fixed and furnished items before deciding if this is going to be the right color for your home. So what do you think about Gray Owl or do you have any questions for me? I would love to hear your comments in the section down below. I want you to take these tips seriously. They can really help you prevent from making costly mistakes that you would later regret. And if you need help on finding the perfect color palette for your home and you want it professionally done, then I have a link that you can check out in the description section down below. I show you how I can help you without ever stepping foot in your home, regardless where you live in North America. So until then, I will see you in the next video.